Ассаламу алейкум. Мен Тұрсын Айзия Водон. Мен бір Қытай жаза лагерінің түрікші айты бұлым әне. Мен мәтініміз Шарқы Түркістанның ұлды жәңірі күнәсін айы әсті. Салам, әрің. Мен әне Тұрсын Айзия Водон. Мен кәмп сұрвайвер әне Қайнас концентрацион кәмп. Мен әне күнәс регион ғолжа сәйті ұйыз Түркістан. Мен Қытайнан жазарларды бір жыл яттым. Үшкі қайтым күрдім, бірінші қайтым бір ярымай, үшкінші қайтым онай, жәмі бір жыл. In total, I stayed in the concentration camps for a year. The first time it was a month and a half, and second one was ten and ten and a half months. So one year I spent my one year of my life in concentration camps. Мен ойлдым қазақ Қазақстанда тұрды. Шым мен ойлдым білем білем Қазақстанға шыққаным үшін. Шым мен он бір Қазақстанға шыққан бес жыл тұрдым. Шым мен он жеті мен қайтып баған дегін тұрдым. Шу жағды мен мәтенде немеш бұл атқанды білмейдім. Мен бір план сақтыға тарапын тәкшірілдім. Because my husband was Kazakh citizen, I went to Kazakhstan and stayed there five years. And then when I came back to my homeland to visit, I didn't know what was going on. That was 2017, and I was arrested. Шкема о о я та тојтен дај да бранџа кога тулга вактум да. Ме мондек е да ме лем била камалдем. Пријар ма исто да ја да. Без не ерхл хтаила мешбур. Біз емейдіған мұсылмала емейдіған емеклікілі, мәселен, чөшкі көшті. Үйәді өз Қытайдың ашпазылан әкеп тамығат кізді, арақланы ішкі мәжбурлап, мән ашқызан яллау болып, амасы докторханық шықады мені, докторханды етіп дауалын үшін үспілен, үшкімі 18 кізгі сұртық тұдым, үшкімі 18 үшін жайда еніп So in my first 50, uh, one and a half months in the concentration camps was very hard. There were around uh, 1,000 people with me in that ca camp. Um, the condition was very horrible. Uh, for example, the food was cooked by the Chinese cook, so we were given uh, uh, given alcohol. We were given um, like bacon or like pork products, and we were forced to eat those things. Of course, I wasn't used to those foods, and uh, by the time I got sick and my stomach had very severely uh, impacted, and I was hospitalized and I was released. And then I stayed outside, not in the camp, till 2018, and I was taken back uh, again to the concentration camps. Бүтін бізнің мәлді әші шәәрді нұрғын әдемілен тұтышқы башылған, әтті мән тұрватқан шәәрінің әшіне пәкәт әдем қалмасық айланды, бәк күнді әдемілен тұтыватады. The city I was in is Kunas region. Before I was taken back for the second time, my older brothers and my younger brother, they were also taken to the concentration camps. And so many people from our region were taken that the city was almost like empty. Адамлар бері-бір Қықтайды, қоңын чаңдайымыз беріп, айындыға елінді, әмімізді таңқа, бүтін сақчы құралдық ашта тұрдыған көчеді қаттыр жәм, адам маңамайды қалат кеп кеткен. Сиди оф Қолча өз үшілі өзі құралдыд, Әвір, өз құралдыды, Әвір, өз құралдыды, Әвір, өз құралдыды, Әвір, � Қүріңіңіңіңіңіңіңіңіңіңіңіңіңіңіңіңіңіңіңіңіңіңіңіңіңіңіңіңіңіңіңіңіңіңіңіңіңіңіңіңіңіңіңіңіңіңіңіңі
so the second time when I was taken and the, it was much different the previous one was at least uh, it was like a school like building but second time it was like a real prison there were armed police everywhere like uh, watchtowers and the, it was much much big crowd I think it might be you know holding around 10,000 people because there were big buildings and uh, I witnessed so many horrible uh, stories, but I will just talk about a couple of them now. İşte de obur ne kıldığa yemi yok diye bir küçük kızıl çilekini koyup verip açına obur ne kızıp ve Jüyün daha ya yok takat mı jüyün maydı tok o jüyün işte yani mümkün emez Şikayetini açkan dikkini jüyün ısıla da bir yegbur soğak soğuğa mecbur açtı Onun açtı da 70 yaş dikim o maylan battı Küçükle 18 yaşlı kızla hatta Lekin onu sık su emez ama o mayla bazıları kaynanıp o soğuğu çüştüm açına nem kızı çokum tayak yedi üye de Eğir cazağı talıdı hatta mecbur açına um, so th when we were taken to the second time, uh, the room was very small. It's like four meters square uh, room and very crowded. So many ladies stayed with us. Um, in that room, we were not allowed to take uh, go outside for going to bathroom, restrooms. Uh, there were small red bucket in the corner and that was our restroom and everything is being watched with by everyone. Um, at the beginning, we were learning uh, intense Chinese and other propaganda. Um, the condition was uh, terrible, no hygiene, as I said. We couldn't shower for months. And uh, finally, they allowed us to take a shower, but it was very cold water that uh, there were some old ladies uh, couldn't adjust. And when you reject or say something against to the police, you also get punished. Bir mamay ağırıp kaldı, kattı, kızdı. Onun karaydığı adamı yok, işte yatattı. Hememiz şu, şu sokak, zey, üç, simon bile nem kan bir uyge. Yani iş kaydı, yutki de uydu, tuğandım. Onun için bu halde, red küçüşe de kutup, sonra başlandı, tan kua de. Hememiz sorak açık gidetti, iş gün, üç gün yok ap gidetti. Bazıları kiretti, bazıları kirme yok ap gidetti. Bazıları öyle kaletti, kiretti, tayak yaydı, nemle bulattı, kinaydı. Ya da açtak. Hatta özellikle şu sorak çıktım. Uh, so uh, our daily life was like that and if you get sick in there because of that bad condition you never get treated you know uh, some old ladies have their fevers they got very sick but they never given medicines so uh, it was those kind of you know uh, mm -hmm. environment um, also uh, they started to uh, take us time to time for a questioning room and questioning, interrogating us, asking lots of questions. Sometimes some ladies, you know, they leave the room for a questioning and they never come back. Some comes back and very quiet, don't talk to anyone. Some uh, lose their conscience. Uh, it's very hard uh, to continue your life in those camps, uh, in those cells. And one day uh, they also called me. I'm an Hayır, mamayla işte brenaz bak gidip de oynasam, biz özümüzün on tip gelip açlığa içtiğimiz gelip gidip de her bir tayak yap, her bir cazak tatılgan da ola bek bir çar alıp de mamaylanın bir çar mamaylanın bir şey de çarşımı yok, iyi kıyırgan da adam kanda kulp kaldığının ne şuçak da iskolsuz ki biz onu yoğur mamayla Müslümanla heç kaçan yağlık neyip bakma kaçka kömet dikemiz olanın işki tağlam çiçi kaldı ki bir işte o bak çarşıları çiçleri çüp getken el kulaş zıgılgan da ümçerep Köz aldım da jürküm deyken hazır her bir oylusam jürküm serilip gidip onun için açlığa karaplam içimizin gibi de her bir zıklap ya bir iyi kız Kıtay çek yap bilmeydi Kıtay çek yap olaylık bilmeyen yoğur çek yap kızı cazağı tatlılar dedi sen yakmayı kaçıp otasan otakın sen yoğur çek yakmalı dedi ola birinci üçlük kıldı hani biz yoğurun o tülü o yoğurluğumuzda üçlük kıl attı onun kası bizden benimizde üçlük kıl attı sen yazlık çıktı ama pekat onun için sorak sual biz böyle dediğin şu dedi yağlık çıktı ama namaz okudu ama sen yoğurun 
sana kubetsin artık tuhupsa sen nimiş kandın sen kandak mesela çetek çıkan bizlerden soraydık ne sen kandak teşkilatla Allah kan bana sen nimiş uyak çok kanda Müslüman demirketle bilen münasibetten bana anda mandak şu şunu da yayıp dokta yakni yana um, so I was a little younger I could take it but there were very old ladies uh, that I cannot unseen those uh, memories from my me my memory those ladies didn't even have you know enough hair on their head they don't even have teeth they were very old and because they don't speak chinese time to time they speak uyghur language and they get punished because of speaking our mother tongue um, so basically speaking your own you know language uh, showing anything related to your religion anything related to your identity uyghur identity was banned and being punished in there it's very hard to continue your life uh, in in there Mem does the Thorak trip, Shukan Ashpoil of Akhar, the Thai Saksal Telekin Kayahid, and Mam Karslok Kan Humstin, Kat Urvet, the Mina Ishum, the Bilmig Regalette. One of those days in the interrogation room, I was also questioned the questions they asked, she said earlier, that, you know, if you went to overseas, who did you meet with? Did you contact any organizations? Uh, what did you do and those kind of questions once i was a little against what they said and i was also bitten and kicked uh, tortured oldum bana toktumay keşleri kızlarını açık gidiyordan ayarlan açtak işlan çıkardı o sakçılar başkıçı var sakçılar kilitti kar kastım burada kıyken kar kastım burada kıyken açtak adamla fayda bulup oturdu mangdan buldum açtı kildo kartında ismimiz ataydı çıkmış amal yok çıkardı gün de işkiden üçten adamdan ekletti bakatlı biz tarafımız baş tarafım bazıları aşkip saran olup kılattı açtak ben böyle bilmeyim ben neyim bulgun ne deyittim baş tarafımız hayran kılattı kokat ötüs etti gendilen kaklarının kızlarının saran olup çıkarıp açtak oğun ekletti saranladık tutansa bazıları öl kaptı tam o beşini süzüp deyittim açtak neslen çık anlayıp bir günü minan mı um, so besides all this what's going on uh, at nights they started to take us for questioning or I don't know what are the reasons uh, young girls were taken by the unfamiliar faces of some Chinese men in black suits they come and they're not the regular police there and called some ladies by name and they take them out some never comes back some comes back as losing their conscious uh, some they lose their mind some are like very heavy bleeding so uh, I, I thought they were being tortured and one day they also called me and another young lady mm -hmm. Menim aşı 21 yaşlı bir kız bilan bir ep çıktı o qızna. Bek çıraylı qız de o. Çaşlarım işərdən kilib biz onu ötədik onu xıtaytılab şeyan yan da qoyar tutdu mulaqlan. Bek bek bek gözləri göz aldım tutdu. Pek toy qımğan qız de. One day the police called me and another Uyghur girl who is only 21 years old who's unmarried she was so beautiful we both were called to the dark room Çıkkan <gülüyor> I witnessed her uh, being raped in front of my eyes. She was screaming and begging. And after that, she was like lost her conscience. She wasn't herself. She cried every day. And it's very hard to handle. Don't want to talk about the details. Uh, even when she was released uh, multiple times, she was called by the Chinese uh, government officials for their the alcohol night parties she had to go and multiple times she contacted me to help her but uh, there was nothing I could do
Oxşaşla mən müşündak Oxşaşla mən müşündan uçturdum Ləkin mən Hayatımda bırak ölüp buldum işte mi kiri gemes mi lagırdın çıkıp lan öldürüp adam özenli diye Allah'ın kudreti bile mi lan yoldaşım Kazakistan tuhallık için lan kuvvetli beginden bilmiyordum. I too actually went through the same fate with her that I was also called at night and went through what she went through. Çünkü ben on sekiz on sekizinci boğandı beni. Duyuksuz çıksa sen yol dışın Kazakistan diye de başta haber geldi mi işlenmeyi mi de pişkizilsin. Onun için öz bilgince sotla başta kıldı. Bir gün duyuksuz başta sotlayımızı yapalım çakırıp hemen de beni işkizil. Mesela köz aldım değil. 36 yaşlık bir ayağını aş... 6 balı top kuhalık için 6 yıl sotla etti. Um, so in 2018 I was called for questioning again until that I lost my hope of living. She said earlier, uh, I wanted to die. There was no reason to live for me, but I was called one day and uh, questioned. Uh, There was one lady uh, who stayed there for so long, but she got pregnant in there and she was also punished. And then they also called all the ladies there and sterilized. Sterilized them. In 2018, uh, December 25th, 6th, uh, I was released because my husband, who is Kazakhstan citizen, uh, were uh, advocating and trying to get me out and contacted the government officials. Um, on my last night in the camp, um, some of the girls knew that I was going to go, I was going to leave the camp, so they admired me uh, because it was my last day. Usually we take turns to sleep, a couple people stays awake to look and watch, and that day I wanted to take that responsibility because I was going to be released next day and I could sleep, but even for that I got punished and the police were asking me, like, why giving your turn to someone else? Ben <gülüyor> The day I was released, uh, I was supposed to be happy that horrible life was going to end and I was going to be free. However, I was not. I thought about those girls who cried and stayed with me in my cell. And my brothers were also in the same uh, uh, camps. And when I was leaving, I remember clearly it was snowing that day. My feet was moving very hardly. And uh, my brother from one of the windows called 
a like sister and I look back and I felt terrible that I was leaving and he was staying. Not just my brothers, I had my cousins, my relatives in those camps. So I couldn't be happy, of, couldn't share the happy feelings of leaving knowing that all my brothers and sisters still in the camp stayed behind me. I didn't know what was going on when I was in the camp, but my husband was uh, contacting media and giving testimonies about uh, me being in the camp uh, when I when Chinese government gave me my passport and I traveled to Kazakhstan, that's then I learned how I was able to uh, escape. Kazakhstan'dan I, I was released under the condition of coming back in three months, so I signed papers. And once I came to Kazakhstan, uh, first I was still afraid and scared and I thought I was going to go back. But then uh, by time I had to speak, I had to share the truth. So I gave uh, some part of my experience as a testimony to some of the reporters. Uh, right after my uh, testimony, um, I started to getting threatening messages from Chinese police. Uh, they even uh, tried to burn my house in Kazakhstan. Yığırıp <gülüyor> Değiştirmenin <gülüyor> So uh, U.S. government, America helped me to come to uh, Turkey and from Turkey I came to U.S. Uh, I was very sick when I came. Uh, I was able to get treatment luckily here uh, in the U.S. I went through major surgeries, um, the trauma, and I uh, got treated here. Uh, I am living now. However, you know, I'm still like a dead person, but I need to uh, speak up. I need to still share what I went through. Uh, for example, uh, when my brother was taken to the camp, also uh, the Chinese, the homestay uh, policy uh, was active and uh, Han Chinese came to my brother's house and stayed with my sister-in-law and basically, in a summary, ruined their uh, family as well, separated their family. So. Um, 
the Chinese government's clear intention is sterilize us, intention is decrease the population of Uyghurs, so it, intention is eradicating Uyghurs. And I realized that and I said to myself that I need to speak up. <laughs> Bir yerde hayat yaşamadığımız hatırlayacağım Amerika dökümdeki şunda erken dönem yaşamadığımız diyen bilen iş kaçan bir günümüz bir minutumuz mu? Biz ne oldu ne iş hatırlayacağım bir devlet dükemizde iş kaçan hoş bulup bir hatırlayacağım bu kanımız. Benim hoş kızlar biz aradık. Hatta çatardık bazı lagrın çıkalım biz sözleşip durumuz. Telefonda her birimizden azar bir yürüyümüzde. Kan tatlıkan dek açtak köyüde de önüm günümüz. Çünkü indimiş gelirken de o otunun işte de köyüp baktık. Açlarının her bir kakşa vatkan, kangır kakşa vatkanı. Çünkü bizden yürüyümüzden azaplaydı. Şu an her bir o kerindişimiz bu anda ben Müslüman devletlerine ayıran bütün Müslümanlar dağıdım. Sizlerden o okşaşlı açlık kerindişinle biz kandak azaplansanla sizlerden şunlar azaplanışınla gerek şunlar üçün, şunlar üçün erkek kılışınla gerek de öyleyim. Biz ne zaman hazır bütün yerler bir muşta sözler bırsın aldık çıkmış muşta sözlümü kırmızı biz ne ayı korkunuçluk cırgınlık bir hayatımız ne bir ölüp bugün adam biz ne çıktım hatayın kol tayak bilen ölüyen ölüm ağızdan ağırladım kaytan lakin bu cırgınlık hayatlarımızı sözleş biz için bir pekarlık ya ki biz için bir şundak yakışacağız nimiş ki aşla üçün bir insan bir bilip hatay karşı çıksa bir devlet bursun aşk hatayın yağançılık zulümünü tohtuşun hareket kısa biz şula üçün bir iş kılalımız mı ki de bu nakip git var mı? Şunu ödün silahının mı bir Müslüman kerindaşlarına ula uyaktı ki kankır kakşa batkan. Bir erkeğin Uyghurlar bulsun, mehli başka millet kerindaşlar bulsun. En manladın ötüm kılay. Vettinimizde kerindaşlığa üçün her iki hareket kılayla ötünüp kılay istedin. En manlağı rahmet. So as a camp survivors, we were in that fire. We were inside those camps. And... Uh, we have the pain until now. Every day we deal with uh, this trauma. We cannot forget what we went through. Uh, what we demand from you guys is uh, we are brothers and sisters. We have the same religion. We have the same uh, faith. Uh, we shouldn't stop. Now you know what we went through. Uh, basically what we're trying to do is we have eyewitness what the Chinese government is doing to Uyghurs, brothers, sisters. We expect others to do the same, help us, take an action, pray for us, and help Uyghur Muslims in China. Thank you.